I am back with Gary Bennett. He might look Hi. familiar because he is on the board of advocates for homeless families. However, we are here right now to talk about something else you got. Do you, are you retired? I am retired. So is this the two, are these the two organizations that you spend most of your time on? Uh, mostly. I'm also a board member, or no, a council member for um, the Affordable Housing Council. Oh, and that's an appointed position here in Frederick. Very nice. Yeah, keeps yeah, me busy. very involved. I like it. Well, I we like that very much. But today we're talking about the FSK Lions Club. And it's interesting because... Um, I used to play baseball back in the day for the mm. Lions Club in Yellow Springs, oh. but it no longer exists. Oh, but, okay. So why don't we first educate people about what the Lions Club is? Sure. So the Lions Club uh, has been around for 100 years now. Um, it's, that's about when I was a kid playing that's baseball. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so it's part of Lions Club International, and you probably know if you're watching this that there are just thousands and thousands of Lions Clubs all over the world. Almost every town of any size has one. Frederick has three, but Frederick County has a total of 11. Holy cow! I mean, there's one in Brunswick, there's one in Walkersville, Middletown, Myersville, Emmitsburg, Thermont. There's one just about in every town around. And we're a service organization, so our sole um, reason for existence is to do good things in the community, and that's what we try to do. Wow, okay. Yeah. So do you focus on anything in particular with what you're giving back to, or? organizations just reach out and say, hey, we need some help? Well, Lions Clubs, uh, I guess, are mostly known for helping the blind. Right. That was one of the I reasons. I remember you used to donate yeah. your glasses to the yeah. Lions Club. we still do. We have collection boxes all over the county, and we do collect uh, used eyeglasses. So if you have eyeglasses you don't use anymore, please take them to um, your local Walmart or just about any eye doctor has a box there for the Lions Club. We'll take them. We'll refurbish them. Uh, we'll clean them up and we'll send them. We don't refurbish them. I'm sorry. We send them to a place that will refurbish yeah. them. And then we arrange to send them to people in need who need eyeglasses. Oh, that's great. So that's great. one thing we do. But every Lions Club decides uh, what they want to do in the community. Mm -hmm. So for us, our Lions Club is the FSK Lions Club, Francis Scott Key Lions Club. And we decided we wanted to do things like uh, Canines on the Creek, a, a dog-oriented event for the whole community. We also do medical equipment lending for people in need. Okay. So medical equipment is very expensive, as you know. So yeah. We lend it like quite like a library. Ah. Uh, we take donations and we lend them out to people. But we sponsor little league teams. We, yes, uh, you do. We go to the food bank and uh, we go to the community table and serve dinner many times a year. Uh, donate food to the food bank. Those are some of the major things we do. So how many members do you guys have? Well, just your, your club? Just the FSK club. We're small. We have about 20 members. Okay. But, but most clubs are small. Yeah. Anywhere from 20 to 50 members. Okay. And if uh, do you have a location or where do you meet and do things like that if somebody's interested mm -hmm. in maybe joining? Yeah, we meet at the Elks Club on Willowdale Drive okay. uh, the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. It's at 6 p.m. We have dinner first, then we meet. Uh, you can go to our website, fsklines.org, if you'd like to come. We'd love to have you. Uh, just uh, look for the link to the membership director. Uh, email that person, and they'll arrange for you to come and have free dinner oh. and, and listen to one of our meetings. Well, that's worth the free dinner, better than a timeshare or something <laughs> like right. that. All right, so you guys have this event coming up, Canines on the Creek. I've definitely heard of it. Yep. It is Saturday, October 26th, mm -hmm. right on Carroll Creek. So tell me, first of all, how did this event come about? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, we were in Ocean City, my wife and I, uh, many, many years ago, and it was around Halloween, and we saw a doggy parade on the boardwalk. And I thought, boy, wouldn't this make a great fundraiser, especially since we care about blind people, and we, uh, we help sponsor an organization called Leader Dogs for the Blind. Okay. Also known as Seeing Eye Dogs. You may know them as Seeing Eye Dogs. Yeah. But, but we help uh, raise, train. We don't do it ourselves. But we provide money to the organization that raises and trains leader dogs and provides them to blind people. So I thought, it's just a perfect tie-in. Why don't we bring this to Frederick? See if we can do a doggy parade on Carroll Creek. It's almost as good as the Ocean City yeah. Boardwalk. And uh, get, get the owners of the dogs to pay to participate, get sponsors, get exhibitors, and make it a, just a fun day. And that's what's happened. This is our fifth one now, and it's become a really good fundraiser for us and, and for Leader Dogs for the Blind. And it's just a lot of, loads of fun. If you haven't been there yet, I highly recommend it. Yes, okay. So right down at the amphitheater area, Carroll Creek, 2 to 5 p.m. It's $25 to get 
to enter your dog. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to put them in costume, and then yeah. you guys parade around Carroll Creek? We parade around Carroll Creek uh, as far as we need to. Last year we had <laughs> 80 dogs. So oh, we, wow. Yeah, so we went from Marcus Street down to Carroll Avenue, I believe it is. Uh, back and forth on both sides of the creek. So it was a nice parade. That's and really if you want fun. to be a spectator, that's free. Yeah. Uh, you can sit in the amphitheater or you can sit anywhere along Carroll Creek and see the dogs pass by you. It's loads of fun. And yeah. uh, we have some special judges this year. We do give out prizes. It is a costume contest. Oh, very nice. But, you know, our prizes aren't life changing. Yeah. So we make sure that everybody <laughs> understands that. They're not fighting for the prizes. But we have judges, and this year we're proud to say that we have the Chief of Police here in Frederick, uh, Mr. J uh, Jason Lando, Lando, will be yeah. one of the judges. Uh, the director of our animal control, uh, David Luckenbaugh, will be a judge. And then one of our line executives, Martin Bonura, will be a judge. will be our three judges. Oh, good. So if you're upset at anyone, those are the three, not Gary. Don't be upset at Gary yes. if you don't win. <laughs> when she, with Chief of Police Lando here, we don't expect any That's trouble. Right. No trouble. No trouble at all. <laughs> All right, so register your dog. You can go to fsklions.org slash canines. Yeah. Register your pup. Get them dressed up. Support the Lions Club who support Leader Dogs for the Blind. That's where the proceeds will go. It's October 26th at Carroll Creek Linear Park at the amphitheater, 2 to 5 p.m. I'm going to come down. We're going to make sure this gets some coverage uh, so that we can have even bigger and better. We want to beat the 80 dogs That's right. that you I, had last year. I think we can do that. I think we can do it. You guys yeah. think we can get 100 dogs? I think we might be able to. So we're going to reach out to some organizations and make sure they know that this is happening. FSK Lions Club, Gary Bennett, we want to thank you for all the countless volunteer hours and being so involved. It really does make this community better. Well, thank you, Danny. I appreciate that very much. It just keeps me busy, and uh, it's what all I think it's what all recent retirees should do, as long as you can. Yeah, try, absolutely. Try to give back as much as you can. Absolutely. All right. We thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.